Welcome to Charm Health, your cloud-based medical records and practice management application. In this video, we will guide you through the EPCS registration and identity proofing process as per the DEA requirements. Let's get started. The approving DEA registrant, typically the supervising provider or medical director, must be the first person in the practice to complete identity proofing to obtain two-factor authentication. Other prescribers who need EPCS access must also complete this registration and verification process. Charm Health partners with Exostar to facilitate the identity proofing process. Exostar follows two methods of IAL2-based proofing process. Mobile proofing. This primary method verifies your identity through knowledge-based questions and a face recognition workflow. For KB questions, having your credit report handy is recommended. Facial recognition requires a mobile phone with a camera and a government-issued ID. Webcam proofing. When mobile proofing fails, you need to schedule the webcam proofing session with Exostar. EPCS registration process for prescribers. This video walks you through the mobile identity proofing process. Prescribers should log into their account and go to Settings, Prescriptions, EPCS Manager and click Start EPCS Registration. This takes you to the EPCS registration form. You'll need to enter either a software token or a hardware token. After purchasing the EPCS subscription, Exostar will ship a hardware token to your facility within five to six business days. But don't worry, you don't have to wait. You can start your registration right away using the software token option. Simply enter your smartphone number as the software token, and during registration, you'll be guided to install the Authy app to generate it. Clicking Start New Registration will take you to the Exostar portal to complete the mobile proofing process. As stated earlier, ensure you have a mobile phone with a camera, a government-issued ID, and a credit report ready. Click Start Proofing to initiate the process. Review and accept the user subscription agreement on the Exostar portal. Verify your address details Enter your date of birth and social security number. Click Next to continue. Enter your personal smartphone number to receive the identity proofing link from Exostar and click Next. On the identity proofing page, Exostar may ask questions related to your financial and credit history. Having a credit report handy will help you answer these questions within the time limit. After answering the questions, you will receive a link from the Exostar's Experian on your personal smartphone number. Use your mobile device to open the link received from Exostar and follow the instructions, which may require capturing a photo of your ID and a selfie through facial recognition. Once verification is complete on your mobile phone, Return to the Exostar Identity Proofing page on the web and click ID Proofing Completed. Now, Exostar will guide you to set up the two-factor authentication method to digitally sign the CS prescriptions. If the hardware token is available, click the Activate button and enter the token serial number found on the back side of the token. Press the button on your hardware device to generate the new OTP. If the hardware token is not available, you can use your software token from the Authy app downloaded in your smartphone number. Before entering the information in this section, we recommend you to install Authy app in your smartphone and create an account with the smartphone number and email ID. After the mobile setup, Enter the same personal mobile number and email address in this section to set up your mobile ID account. On clicking Next, a push notification will be sent to your Authy app. Open the Authy app and approve the notification to authenticate your identity. If you do not receive the push notification or are unable to approve it, 
Use the Verify with Mobile ID Code option on the web to enter the OTP generated by the Authy app. The Authy app generates a new OTP every 20 seconds. We recommend enabling phone-based OTP as a backup after the registration process. If your hardware token is lost or malfunctioned, you can use your registered phone number to revoke your account. This backup option will not be a part of two-factor authentication while signing the CS drug. Once the identity proofing process is complete, you will be redirected to the Charm Health's EPCS Manager page. You can view the status of your EPCS registration process by clicking the checklist. Each prescriber requesting EPCS should go through the same identity proofing process with Exostar to obtain individual TFA credentials for prescribing controlled substances. In the next video, we will go over how the approving DEA registrant can approve CS drug signing requests raised by the EPCS admin manager for self and other prescribers. Thank you for watching this video. For any help, write an email to support at charmhealth.com. Follow us on our social media for the latest updates.